tracks. An Amtrak train slams into a dump truck, splitting it in half. Passengers pulled from the train and rushed to the hospital. And we've just learned the name of the man killed in the crash. And what led to this horrific accident. And in just the last hour, crews started moving the train away as dozens of investigators look for answers. And we've also learned that it's not the first train accident to happen there. Good evening, I'm Garth Swanson. And I'm Lauren Rowe. Here is the latest on this crash. Late this afternoon, investigators identified the driver of the dump truck as 44-year-old Saram Matadial of Orlando. Now, witnesses say he failed to stop at a stop sign before going onto the tracks. Investigators say the train was not speeding at the moment of impact. 153 people were on board that train and 10 were taken to the hospital. Luckily, they believe they all have minor, minor injuries. Now, let's show you how this all happened. The Silver Star train was bound for Miami this morning when it left the Amtrak station on Sly Boulevard in downtown Orlando. It started heading south. Then, just after 11 o'clock this morning, the train slammed into the dump truck at Orange Avenue and Glen Rose Avenue, less than five miles from the station. We have a team of reporters working every angle of this story today. Lisa Bell just spoke to some of the passengers about how it happened. But Lewis Bolden has new details about the dump truck driver killed in this crash. And let's begin with David Sprung live in Sky 6. So David, what is happening at the scene now? Well, what's happening now, Lauren, is repairs to the track. There have been workers. That was the actual front of the train. I'm going to show you how far away it's moved now. The actual impact happened right at this intersection here. That's Glen Rose. And now what they've done is they've moved everything off of the tracks. You can see that's what's left of the actual dump truck itself. They've moved everything off of the tracks. And what I've seen is they've done some work to the tracks. They've done some welding, soldering, banging with a couple of hammers. And now what it seems to be like they're working on are the junction boxes that were ripped out of the ground by the dump truck as the train pushed it through the area so it looks like they're pretty much done with what they were doing right here on the tracks and now they're concentrating their efforts on the boxes aside and they have moved the train off of the mainline track the mainline track is actually open although no traffic is going to come through here as of yet and the train has now been moved off to the side for further review Lauren guard all right thank you David yes the train is still there just a little bit from uh, where it uh, collided with that dump truck and look at the nose of that thing just absolutely disintegrated. All right, thank you, David. And we continue our team coverage with Lewis Bolden tonight. He's live at the crash scene. And Lewis, you spoke to the family of the dump truck driver. What did they have to say tonight? Well, Gar, tonight they are questioning why there aren't crossing rails at this intersection. As you heard David mention, the Florida Department of Transportation is on the scene here. And tonight they tell us that changes are on the way after this deadly crash. This is what's left after an Amtrak train slammed into a dump truck Thursday morning, leaving one person dead. I was just in there yelling, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, I couldn't move. Diana Curzon watched it all happen from the diner she works at on Orange Avenue. The Florida Highway Patrol says the truck driver, 44-year-old Ciro Matadio, was headed west on Glen Rose Avenue and never stopped at the stop sign, then pulled right into the path of the train. It was like a big explosion, and the impact was so great, the big black smoke, his truck, the bed of his truck was up in the air and came down and glass was flying. State troopers say the train was going 60 miles per hour. 10 miles below the speed limit, but still carried the dump truck a quarter of a mile down the track before it could stop. Brian Lowry was on the train and knew it was a deadly crash. And I knew right away that the driver never felt anything. He was atomized uh, instantly. My husband. This woman said she was the driver's wife, and just a few minutes after we saw her, family members literally collapsed when FHP broke the news. But the driver's son was calm and had one question. How's he gonna cry? How's he gonna run out of the train was coming? There's no cross sign on the train drop. Well, the Department of Transportation says this intersection was already slated to get a crossing rail because of the Sun Rail project, and we're told construction will start on it this spring. Guard. So, Lewis, as we mentioned, there were several passengers on that train. They, were, they all went to hospitals, at least a lot of them did. Do you know how they're doing tonight? 
Yeah, we did get an update on their conditions. Really, we were told they had only minor uh, injuries and they were really just transported out of an abundance of caution. Guard. Yeah, we found out that train going 60 miles an hour. All right, thank you, Lewis. Most of the passengers were taken back to the Amtrak station downtown. Local 6's Lisa Bell is there live. So, Lisa, it was chaos when the passengers got there. Yeah, Lauren, many of the passengers tell me they were still in shock when they got back to the Amtrak station uh, earlier today. They then had to figure out how to get to their final destination and get reunited with all their luggage. I have an elderly 94-year-old woman with medicines in those bags, and I need everything. Marisol Roses was on board the train with her elderly relatives and two children when it collided with the dump truck this morning. They were among the majority of passengers who boarded Lynx buses and were dropped off at the Amtrak station in downtown Orlando. It's our luggage. It's a problem right now. We don't know what happened to it. They told us, I had a rumor, they told us to leave everything in the rooms, to leave with nothing, and I don't even know where anything is at right now. Amtrak assured passengers their luggage would be retrieved and delivered but it's a process that took hours and patience was wearing thin we're like walking around aimlessly bumping into each other and no one's giving us any answers on what to do tour buses were brought in to ferry passengers to their final destination but there are 13 different stops between orlando and miami it took most of the afternoon to make sure each passenger was on the right bus headed to the right place I'm just take it easy wait my time and despite the traumatic situation, most passengers were just grateful that no one else was seriously hurt. One for the engineer, we all be dead. If that, that train derailed, it would have been ball game. It would have been, all, been, been over. Now, making matters a lot more complicated here at the Amtrak station, there was another Amtrak uh, train on those tracks until about 15 minutes ago, and we just saw it depart for the south from here. We're going to uh, go back and try and talk to them in just a few minutes to see where exactly that train went, because we do know that it is still closed to the south of here. But there were uh, dozens, if not over 100 passengers here stranded on that train, uh, trying to get southbound as well. They have since all reboarded those buses. This was one extra bus that's behind me right now. Uh, it is not needed. But uh, all of those passengers finally making it out of here about uh, around 4.45, the last bus departed. Lauren? All right. Well, thanks very much, Lisa. Anything else to report? I mean, it looks like the trains are, are moving now. Well, yeah, there was that one train that moved south. We do know that there's still uh, about three dozen people inside the Amtrak station. They have been here all morning uh, and all day as well. They were trying to head north, but those trains to the south of here are stopped. So it's really caused a lot of delays for a lot of people today. All right. Thanks very much, Lisa. Keep us posted on what's going on over there.